Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm a black gay woman and I have a daughter, so I'm not doing so well right now. Mm. <laughs> I'm a little salty. You're a little salty? I'm a little salty right now. Oh. The country, it's no longer a democracy, right? I mean, we're, it's, no, it's no longer majority rule. <laughs> oh, wow. The problem is that middle stuff. It's, it's those states in the middle, that, that, that red stuff. Mm -hmm. why, why do they get to tell us what to do? <laughs> oh, wow. Know your position. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, you know, for real. Like, look, if I say, hey, let's go out to dinner, you don't get to pick the restaurant. Just shut up and eat. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a really common thread when you talk about people from the coast, the coastal elites. And I'm not talking about my viewers who happen to live on the West Coast or the East Coast. I'm, of course, talking about people in media, um, you know, L.A. Hollywood types or, you know, in the East Coast, New York media, uh, you know, Bristol, Connecticut areas. Not I'm talking about the media when I say the coastal elites. And it's extraordinarily frustrating to watch um, these people with huge audiences uh, continually dump on people in the Midwest, uh, in the middle of this country. Of course, I live in Wisconsin. I would love for any one of these clowns to come here and say that to uh, people's faces here, some of the farmers or uh, the regular townspeople. Also, they act like the Midwest doesn't have huge cities, uh, which, of course, we do. Uh, you know, Milwaukee here in, in Wisconsin, Chicago. Um, these are generally the worst parts of our states, but uh, they're not referring to Milwaukee or Chicago or St. Louis, when they say these things, they're referring to uh, suburban, uh, in particular, I imagine, suburban white people uh, as the problem. And, you know, last night, Wanda Sykes, aging, irrelevant comedian, went on Stephen Colbert to, uh, do, to, to blame them, you know, two thirds of this country, okay, for her, a problem that will never, ever affect her. Uh, and, and, and it's absolutely heinous. And before we get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Established Titles. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. They allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or a lady officially. In return, they commit to plant a tree with every order and protect the beautiful, pristine woodlands of Scotland. Established Titles makes an absolutely amazing gift, and a person could officially get their name changed on documents. Their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate and an official certificate with a crest. Established Titles is currently having a really big sale just for you, my subscribers. You can get an additional 10% off any purchase you make with the discount code the quartering so click the link below go to establishedtitles.com slash the quartering and use promo code the quartering to save an extra 10 percent today now wanda sykes mocks middle america after the scotus uh decision quote those states in the middle that red stuff then gets ripped Comedian Wanda Sykes, famed for, among other things, chanting like a defiant four-year-old, gay, 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 at the Oscars, weighed in with her typically erudite take on the latest decision going after conservatives in the middle of the country. Now, of course, the issue, they issued the ruling on Friday. Wanda made her comments on late night with Stephen Colbert on Monday night. Quote, the problem is that middle stuff it's those states in the middle, that red stuff. By the way, Wisconsin, where I live, uh, was red in 2016 and blue in 2020. Um, and it's really been a long time Democratic stronghold. Exactly the same with Illinois, exactly the same with Minnesota, Michigan, um, Ohio even. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure she understands basic geography. Um, if you're talking about like, what are you talking about, Alabama? Are you talking about Texas? Because, I mean, that's like, okay, fine. Um, you know, again, I digress. She was then prompted by Colbert, who asked solicitously, how you doing? How you doing? 
I'm a black gay woman and I have a daughter, so I'm not well right now. I'm a little salty, she declared. Well, if you're okay, <clears throat> why did being in uh, being in the LGBTQ community has absolutely zero to do with this? And that's and in fact, most of the LGBTQ community is completely unaffected by this, biologically speaking. Okay, so I, I don't even understand that, but you know, there's a lot of people that are like, um, what would you call them, allies in that community that are just there to be vic to be to to complain about life and be a victim. Uh, that's a that is a real social currency these days, and and uh, they're just like, oh well, how can I make this about me? But also, how can I make it like affect me more than everyone else? Um, so she and he writes, you are a little salty. Or Colbert says, you a little salty? Yeah, I'm a little salty right now. She said, sprinkle a little salt. Let's put some flavor on here. Colbert pressed, it just sucks, man. It really does. Sykes said articulately. The country, it's no longer a democracy. It is no longer a majority rule. <clears throat> Again, the Supreme Court voted by majority. This is like a weirdest new um, NPC programming to like falsely claim that the, this that that the Supreme Court did not come to a majority rule decision. What about all the Supreme Court decisions when they were Democratic majority? In uh, or, you know, when the Democrats had the Supreme Court, were those not a democracy because people who vote blue had the majority in the Supreme Court? No, it was still, you know, a Democratic decision. Expert constitutionalist Stephen Colbert agreed. No, certainly not in the Senate. Certainly not the Supreme Court. It's no longer majority rule, Sykes repeated. I mean, like, these judges, they basically lie during their confirmation hearings, right? Again, first of all, doesn't matter. That is another, like, NPC talking point. They did not lie during their uh, confirmation hearings from what I've seen. Especially Kavanaugh, Col Colbert suggested. So how can you be a support justice and you just lying? They had their fingers crossed or something? What a bunch of horse stuff. It really is, she ranted. She then mounted her vile, uh, her venom at conservatives in middle America. To me, it's like the problem is that middle stuff. It's those middle states, that red stuff. Why do they get to tell us what to do? Hold on. Wait a minute. This is what I'm talking about. How come you get to tell the middle states what to do? It's like people who have this position, it's like they're completely unself aware. And when she says, when the majority of us live out in New York and California and we're paying for all of this, also, again, untrue. The majority of you do not live in New York and California. OK, like there there are you could maybe say like, oh, OK, Montana versus California. Fine. South Dakota. Fine. But you start combining these. It's like this woman has never been to Illinois or, or Michigan or, you know, she, you know, like I guess like if she's talking about. Texas, Texas has got a lot of people. It's got like three of the largest cities in the state. So what are you even talking about? Colbert, again, ignoring the constitutional function of the Supreme Court. That's the union. It's supposed to be representative democracy, but it turns out to be a minority rule right now. Right, right, Sykes agreed. Then added, but if we're footing the bill, uh, people in the conservatives don't pay taxes. Did you guys know that? Um, and like California, if it were a country, it'd be the fifth largest, fourth, fifth largest economy. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> like, again, there's a, another brainlet take. So if I'm footing the bill, you're not. Know your position. Know what I'm saying. Oh, so if you're paying for it, your money is what means democracy. Look, if I say go out to dinner, you don't get to pick the restaurant. Just shut up and eat. Oh, okay. Interesting. Tom Elliott writes, comedian Wanda Sykes. The problem is that middle stuff, um, we're paying for all this stuff. So Noam Blum says she really is just a stupid person. The decision is... 
the opposite of red states telling blue states what to do. It's red states being unable to tell blue states what to do and vice versa. Dave Rubin, these people are the perfect combination of elitist and ignorant. The decision puts the power back at the state so she can live with her genderless, woke, narcissistic friends in California and New York, though they'll probably get hungry real quick when they realize where the food comes from. At the Oscars earlier this year, um, Sykes decided she would alienate plenty of people in Florida by going after the state's parental rights and education uh, legislation, typing, we're all going to have a great night tonight, and for you people in Florida, we're going to have a gay night. And Peter Source writing, they're laughing at you, Florida, not with you. Hmm, okay, interesting. I mean, you know, again, it's, it's this elitist take that, like, if you watch this woman... I am not, you know, hot take. I am. I don't have a. I'm not a profound political mind. I, I'm just a, s a simple guy who looks at things in, from a simple perspective, and sometimes that's not effective. Sometimes you really do need to dig deeper. But in this particular case, the loudest voices complaining are the ones living in states where the laws will remain a hundred percent unchanged, uh, and. The people who are complaining with these huge platforms know nothing about what the law is and know nothing about the real people of this country. It's, it's just like, oh, yet another person with $50 million telling poor, the poor plebs that they're just wrong and that they need to do things differently. It's absolutely disgusting. It's, it's reminiscent of the basket of deplorable stuff in 2016. But I don't want to silence them. I want them to keep talking. I want them to continue to reveal themselves. And I want people to know this is what they really think of you. They think, and again, maybe you agree with Wanda here and you're like, hey, I'm pro-choice and I think this is bad. Okay, great. But on the next thing you disagree with Wanda with, and on the next thing Wanda talks about and you disagree on her, you're going to be just one another one of those worthless losers who, uh, who, don't, who, don't, who don't just don't understand, couldn't possibly understand what it's like to be super rich living in California. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.